because of that one courtesan, the 30 of us have had to go through all this trouble, forcing our way through the forest into this cotton plantation. That's right. She stole our clothes and our jewelry. We catch up with her then. Whoa, 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 wait. Look, there's an ascetic sitting under that tree over there. Let's ask him if he saw her pass by. Ascetic, sir, did you see a courtesan dressed in green pass by here? Please, sir. She took off with our clothing and our jewelry. So now we're searching for her, but we can't seem to find her. Oh, Bhadavagya, is it better for you to seek for this woman or to seek for yourselves? Uh, I guess it would be better to seek for ourselves. In that case, I will teach you the Dharma. The wise person rids himself of infatuation and preoccupation with the five sensual pleasures. He sees that life is short and to be distracted by such pleasures is like being snagged and bound up, just as a fish is caught by a hook. Having taken the bait, it's a cause for much suffering and struggle thereafter. Badavagya, you have now all been ordained as Buddhist monks. So go forth and proclaim Buddhism by spreading the Dhamma for the benefit and happiness of all. Ascetic, sir, why are you coming into my hermitage? Venerable Uruvela Kasapa, I've come to ask permission to stay here. Here we practice fire worship, but this ascetic is not one of our kind. What does he want? I'm sorry, sir, I have no accommodation for you here. Please look elsewhere. But I would suggest that you travel in a different direction from this. This bank of the Niranyajara is occupied by we three Jatila brothers. My name is Uruvela Kasapa. The surrounding area belongs to myself and my 500 followers. Further on down the river is the hermitage of my younger brother, Nadi Kasapa, and his 300 followers. The area beyond that is occupied by Gaya Kasapa, my youngest brother, with his 200 followers. These three riverside hermitages are full. There's no room for you to stay. But I can see a place which is available. Where, ascetic? In your fire-worshipping shrine. Please, give me permission for me to stay there. Ascetic, I don't mind if you stay in there. But I must warn you that there is a fierce and strongly poisonous serpent king in there. If you spend the night in there, your life will be in great danger. Uruvela Kasapa, 
please give me permission to stay. The Serpent King will do me no harm. If you say so, please make yourself comfortable in the fire-worshipping house. must have been burned up by the fire of the Serpent King. Despite his power, he's still not yet an Arahant like me. This ascetic is indeed of great might. The gods of every heaven realm take turns to come each night to hear his teachings. But despite his power, he is still not yet an Arahant as I am. There's been a tumultuous rain, and it has flooded the whole area. Surely the ascetic has been washed away or drowned. Master, sir! Master! Look over there! This is Caesar. Has so much power. Huh. But despite all of this, he's still not yet an Arahant as I am. This fire worshipper is so proud and conceited. He insists he's an Arahant. How stubborn he is. Uruela Kasapa, your way of practice does not lead you to the path and fruit. So why do you consider yourself an Arahant? Having deceived yourself, you deceive others. If you could give up your pride and practice according to my teachings, in no long time, you would truly be an Arahant. Oh, I 
realize my fault. Please may the Buddha allow me to take ordination and teach me the Dharma. You are the master of a great hermitage with many followers. You should make this known to all of them. and fire worshipping implements. You must have washed down the river from where my two elder brothers live. Something must have happened to them. Brother Uruvela! Brother Nati! Oh, Gaia, your two elder brothers have found the right way of the Dharma. Quickly bring your 200 followers to approach the Buddha, the one who illuminates the path. O oh, Bhikkhus, all things are burning. Contact with the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind are burning. Feelings, mental formations, and consciousness, whether pleasant, painful, or neither pleasant nor painful, are burning, burning with lust, hatred and delusion, burning with birth, aging, and death, burning with sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair. The well-taught noble disciple, seeing this, becomes weary of thoughts and feelings. Being weary, he releases his clinging. Releasing his clinging, his heart is freed. Buddha has come to stay right here. When I was a young prince, I made five wishes. One, may I be crowned king of the Magadha state. Two, may the Buddha come to my land. Three, may I have an audience with the Buddha. Four, may the Buddha teach me the Dhamma. And five, May I realize his teachings. It seems that all of my wishes are about to be fulfilled. Follow me. We're going to seek out the Buddha and ask for his teaching. Dana or giving has forgiveness as its highest form. If one develops giving along with forgiveness, one becomes gentle and restrained, and one's heart becomes cool. This is because one has to let go of one's attachment to material things and to one's sense of self. And now, all of my wishes have been fulfilled. Oh yes, your teaching fills me with the greatest joy. Please, may I invite the Lord Buddha and all of the bhikkhus to have a meal in my palace tomorrow morning. The Lativana Park where you're staying is far from the city. It is not convenient for the faithful lay people to visit. Please, may I offer the Veluvana Park to you. The Veluvana Park 
is cool, shady, and very large. Not far from the city, but still quiet and peaceful. Please, give me your permission to build a monastery for you here. Oh, this is the Great Belvana Monastery. A solid foundation for Buddhism has now been laid. Since I, Asaji, left the Buddha at the Deer Park in Isipatana in order to go and spread his teachings, I've not met with him at all. <laughs> 